What is happening, guys? Welcome back to part 8, continuing on from the dojo. We're going to be going in there in a second to fight a boss, but before that, we got a couple pieces of loot to grab. Sugar right there. Remnant right here, talking about uh, just Emma talking to Takuro. Rubernating waters, blah blah blah. It's Ashina's secret weapon. Those who drink it can't die. You get the gist. Anyway, um, we're going to go down and shank those two dudes from before. Hanging out right now. All right. Well, first let's do this. This guy is a much. They're looking for us, but they're not gonna find us because you're not gonna say anything, old lady. Damn. Not fighting two of them at once. At this point in the game, they just do too much posture damage. They guard the loot that I seek. I knew I should have just killed you first. After taking them out, if you look in here, you can see three night jars. Grab that real quick. Um, now this can be a little bit tricky, so what I would recommend doing is hit one and just luring them. And essentially, what we're going to be doing here is trying to choke point them. made a grave mistake when you let me put you in the corner. Oh, never mind, you didn't. That was a great idea, putting me in the corner. Stop all the jumping. of annoying little buggers. Grab the eel liver here. Grab the pellet. And if we go on upstairs. Get Ishin's letter. Dear Emma, the Ashina Castle Gate has grown loud with the sound of scurrying. The Tengu will see to the rats. Basically, the guy we met already, the Tengu of Ashina, that's Ashina Ishin. The guy who we saw in the opening movie that jumped, climbed on top of the dude and stabbed his sword into his throat. Uh, basically, he's just a total badass. He's like a legendary swordsman. Cool guy. But anyway, now with all of that done, head back to here. We're going to rest. We're going to take on the Ashina Elite. Now, this character might be a little bit hard at this point for a lot of you guys. He he does a lot of damage. He has this anime double slash thing. Um, if you're good with your, your parry timing, damn it. Oh. If you're good with your deflects, you can build up uh, posture damage on him very fast. In addition to that, uh, if you get an opening, the Sabumaru will mess him up. But anyway, I think he's worth trying because we want a prayer bead, so... Let's head on in, get him with the Sabimaru before he can really do much. Get the poison. And you can see he'll do that. So just wait for him. You can see how he does that. There's a flash. Notice how he had that flash right before he does it? That's what you want to look for. But you can see if you miss, he does work. You can see just how easy he is to dismantle if you're good with those deflects. So basically, look for the flash, double tap your bumper. Uh, between the poison and the deflects, he goes down like... <laughs> he just drops. Uh, nice hanging scroll here talking about lightning reversal. Basic idea with this is uh, certain enemies in the game will have lightning. Uh, when lightning is coming at you, what you want to do is jump into the air, get hit by the lightning, and then attack as you're coming down. And you can effectively throw it back at other at, uh, at your enemy. 
Uh, if you're just sitting on the ground when it comes, you're, it's just going to hit you and it's going to hurt. So anyway, pick up the pellet. From here, we can shoot straight up and go fight Genichiro, but we're not doing that right now. We're going to get a uh, fair amount stronger before we decide to take him on. And to that extent, it is time to travel. So, back to Harada. Want to go to the bamboo thicket slope? Take that off. Don't need it. Alright, so from here, we're just going to run straight to this river and jump on in. Alright, now, from this thing, first thing we're going to do before we worry about any of these guys or taking them out, going down this little side path right here. Now, hopefully you've gotten good at doing your Makiri counter. There's going to be some spear guys down here, but we want to take them out first. Um, and I am just updating my notes real quick. If you can't take these guys out, you can always come back later. I had a friend. You don't have a friend? Okay. No, you do have a friend. I knew it. Oh my god. I thought he had a friend and he did. No. This is not how I go down. Oh my god, yeah, fighting two guys, two spear guys at once is not fun. Desperate times calls for desperate circumstances. God, but death is not the end. Now notice that black thing, that black thing in the corner. Notice how it's now gone. Basically, anytime you die, your resurrect becomes locked. That is until you do a death blow. If you do a death blow, you gain the ability to res again. So against situations like this where you're fighting uh, two enemies, even if one kills you, you get your death blow. Come on back. The reason this area was a little bit harder than most things is boom, baby. Bulging coin purse for taking those bag boys down. Go ahead, pick up the pellet, pick up the balloon, and we're on our way. Alright, um, so we're just going to head on back. Um, that's right, I gotta crouch and grab this. Oh. Kind of see where we're at for our perspective's sake. Oh, this is just the, the route we took. Never mind. Cross from over there? Oh, you can only jump. Okay. Thought I just discovered something new, but that's not the case. There's a couple different enemies in this area. Um, see the torch guy over there. What we're going to do is stick to the left side here for now. Work our way around the back. Let's see, we're able to. Um, drop opportunity there. Doesn't, it's not an important ease drop at all, but um, they basically, see if I can still, I wonder if I can still get it. Anyway, they just talk about how this is the only route for escape, and uh, basically how the drunkard is burning down everything, and blah blah blah, so. 
Go on, kill these scrubs. Um, I think that's it, loot-wise. After taking them out, just taking a look. Dispatch enemies up the passage. Uh, grab the oil, hit the idol. Right, and flip, and flip, and flip, and flip. Oil. And hit the idol. Welcome to the main hall. This is where the Harada Estates really kicks off. So we got two back-to-back -back bosses we're about to tackle. First is the Drunkard, the second is Lady Butterfly. Don't want you on. This way. Kill the first enemy we encounter. Alright, now, as you can see, there are a bunch of enemies here, basically just hellbent on overwhelming you. We're not going to let that happen. Instead, we're just going to hang out up here for a little bit. Archer saw me. He's alerted his friends, but they don't know where I'm at. And the big thing here is we just want these guys to disperse a little bit, you know? They don't need to go all over, but we just want them... Uh, Kind of looking around, wondering what's going on. Trying to figure out. Guy's like, hey, I think I think he's up there. And I was like, you, think, you really think he's up there? And he's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's up there. Anyway, once you kill one. Oh my god. Well, more than one, ideally. But anyway, so let's... Oh, okay. This is, this is getting to be a little hectic here. Let's... You stop. Oh my god. And the burn... Pop this. Thankfully, these guys don't know how to get on rooftops, so go ahead and pop a dousing powder. Uh, put on that. There we go. Red, the red gourd. Look at that thing. Five instances of just getting rid of fire. Oh my god! You know what? This isn't working out. Sometimes, sometimes it's better to just reset and try again. Number one rule of being a shinobi. There's no shame in retreat if it saves your ass. Go ahead and pop this now. Gives us a nice anti-fire buff that should help with things nicely. See, it's weird. Like, last time, <clears throat> they were all like, there he is, there he is. This time, you know, we're just walking. Everything's perfectly fine. Except for this guy. He's the one we're going to kill anyway. So, you know, really matters. The main thing here is to just separate them to buy yourself some time. really no point in fighting everyone at the same time. You can see, I mean, it's, I'm honestly kind of glad that happened, because, you know, taking a look at it um, from that, it really does show just how different it is, you know, like, one guy sees you and it can all go to shit, that guy doesn't see you, and you just do work. Okay, uh, so there should be some dousing powder and some confetti in these houses. Confetti, there's our dousing powder. Spirit emblems. Go over here and grab the shard. Alright, now I want to point out something. You see this dude in the blue right here? That's homeboy. He is going to help us fight the boss. Before that, though, we are going to kill as many enemies as we can. We don't want all this bullshit getting in the way during the boss fight. Point 
coin purse. Um, just checking notes here. Uh, what does he do? Go left, pick off enemy as possible, reset for drunker, left person, left building, otherwise pick them off. Okay. <clears throat> so, we're going to be uh, basically kiting Fat Boy around using this long hallway that he can't get through very well while killing off his cronies. Archers should be prioritized because fuck archers. Now, one thing that's important here during this kite sequence, make sure that you're not going towards the water yet, right? Because if the drunkard goes near the water, Dude Bro is going to get involved in the fight, and we don't want Dude Bro involved in this fight yet. This is exactly what we want, because now we've basically separated him from his dudes. We can uh, focus on taking guys out. Now all the baddies are down, and it's just the drunkard. So uh, at this point, <clears throat> we're going to reset the encounter. Effectively dispatched all of his enemies. Run on back. He's lost us. And that's exactly what we want to happen. Um, so for some things to look out here, <clears throat> uh, this NPC, the ideally he's going to hold aggro for this fight, so we're not going to have to worry about it. Um, and the basic gist is we just want to build up as much posture damage as possible. So we're even going to be popping an Akko Sugar, just looking to do tons and tons of damage to Big Boy over here. You can use your axe if you want. See which way he's looking. That's perfect. It's turned around. Oh my god, I didn't get my death blow. Woo! Well, that's fine. Ideally, you would death blow him. If you didn't... Actually, you know what? I can I can reset it. I can reset it. Just so I can show what should happen. Plus how to reset. Surprised that guy didn't get involved. That's more like it. So anyway, stab him. Run over here. Uh, talk to Duke. Blah, 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 blah. Let us fight together. Now he is joining the fight. You'll notice in a second, Josie won't even be worried about you. Because he's got this dude over there beating his ass. Now, in general, you want to do a like uh, front and back style thing. So you want to be opposite of Blue Bro at all times. You get hit, back off, and heal. You can see how I'm just. Itchy Noji in his ass over and over again. He doesn't even know who to fight. And the drunkard is down. Easy clap. Fair beads. Talk to this dude. Thank you for your help. Alright, um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Just checking notes here. Yeah, no, we're good. Alright, uh, so we have a spear guy up ahead, but first we're gonna cut to the left here. This. And this. Rest here, so that in the event that you die, you don't gotta fight your way past all that bullshit. Uh, if you need to fully uh, reset, feel free to. 
Otherwise, we're going to run in. And where is... Let me see. Hold on a second. Inside a building. Dousing pellet oil balloon. Get against the... Oh, never mind. Spear bro is... Never mind. Never mind. I'm remembering the spear guy. Different different thing. Different thing. Don't worry about it. Talk to this lady. Son of Al. I saw a dreadful version. You have to help the master. Grab this. Give the balloon a soul. Back this way. Suck up the goodies. Get the oil. False wall. See, inside building, dousing pellet oil balloon. Secret room has balloon, coin purse, confetti, and a prayer bead. Our loots. It's our confetti. Here's our prayer bead. Right, back through the door. Now sing pellet oil and balloon. Did I grab everything? I feel like I missed something here. Been going so fast trying to grab all the loot. Dead, you're dead, you're dead. That's right, there was a thing in the corner. Okay, I think that's everything then. Uh, so go ahead and rest here. Up next, we have Lady Butterfly. Uh, her main thing is she likes to throw out kunai at you, and she launches at you from wires. And there's a couple different, uh, like, super cheese-oriented approaches to this. Obviously, enhance your physical attributes first as well. Um, one strategy a lot of people were recommending on stream was to use the skill uh, Nightjar Slash. And supposedly you can just continually spam this non-stop and it allows you to stun locker. I didn't find it that effective. I tried it and you know I had I had mixed results with it, so I don't want to make that recommendation, but I will at least put it out there that you know some people tried this and this was a thing that they liked. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. You know what? No, I want um edit you munchy dumb. Then real fast, just because of how close we are to a skill point, y'all know the drill. Let's get it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let him pick this up. Get our shinobi eyes soon. Can't wait for shinobi eyes. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't really recommend the night jar slash thing. Um, some people think it works great. I'm just I wasn't a fan of it. Um, in general, I find a hyper aggressive strategy here works really good. Just stay on her, non-stop countering and hitting. Uh, anytime she jumps into the air, throw a shuriken at her. Uh, this is going to keep her poise built up really, really, really high. Now, as for phase two, uh, what's going to happen is she's basically going to create illusions and dispel those illusions using a snap seed. Uh, we have limited snap seeds. You get a couple up ahead from a guy on the way over there. Let's make, make our way there now. This guy's got to be stuck in the worst Groundhog Day loop to players dying to the boss, just getting clapped over and over again. Anyway, get our snap seed. Go ahead and pop this open. Uh, so yeah, like I said, you can use that to dispel her illusions. You can also just attack them. The idea with the snap seed is you're just like, no, bitch, and they all disappear. Uh, so it's pretty nice, but honestly, I feel that as long as you're just aggressive and you keep using the shurikens, um, she might not even have a chance to summon them. Uh, another point is phase two, she's going to reappear at the very back of the room. So as soon as she appears, you want to be on her. Just beating her ass before she has a chance to get those summons out or, you know, do whatever she might. So, anyway. Go ahead and pop our sugar. Pretty cool cutscene. Oh, 
袋を乗せがれよおちょうど行ってください Bad ass n o b i l a d y そなたはなすべきことをなすのですわかりましたどんがみは1バンブーズ、あげみだ。You can see just how we're, we're just staying on her. She's just deflecting as we can, and we're just. The main thing here is just building her poise up. You can see how those shurikens, every time she gets in the air, work very effectively. It's one down. She'll appear right here. Let's just get ready. <laughs> she is. One down. Before she even has a chance to start doing her summoning bullshit, stay on her. Like I said, just all about aggression here. This is a fight where her biggest benefit is getting you to back off, basically. And That's it. I kind of feel bad because I know a lot of people have been <laughs> have been fighting this boss and struggling and struggling. I've been reading the comments and people are like, "I can't burn her!" Ah! And I'm like, "She's so easy though." Uh, anyway, another cool cutscene. And that wraps it on up. Our old memories have been awakened. I saw the divine air, blah blah blah. What you saw is yours and yours alone. Ask what Buddha showed him. He doesn't want you to know. Anyway, um, so. 
Saki, which we just got, can be given to a number of people. You can give it to Ishin, you can give it to the sculptor, or you can give it to Emma. All it does is unlock various dialogue options. So um, I'm not going to bother giving any Saki right now, but it does give you nice little fun pieces of lore, so keep your mind out for that. Or keep your eye out for that. I'm not saying keep your mind out. Uh, but anyway, that one wraps things up there. Uh, really want to reiterate here, guys. Just stay super aggressive on her. As you saw right there, I basically just didn't let up at all. I was just constantly in her face every time she got in the air through a shuriken. Anytime she was jumping through a shuriken, as soon as she, she came down, right back on her again. No illusions. None of her crazy bullshit. Just, you know, shut her shit down nice and easy. So anyway, uh, in the next episode, we're going to be making our way to Sempo Temple. So make sure to stay tuned and I'll catch you guys then with part nine.